Dr. Melba Patillo Bills is one of the Little Rock Nine who were the first African American students to integrate Central High back in 1957. She says her upbringing helped her overcome the racism she faced going to class. Look, what you have to see about me is from the beginning of my life, the reason I've survived the oppression of my era is because my grandmother and my mother, they said to me, hey, God has a picture of you on his refrigerator. He made chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream. You know what? He loves you. He's this beautiful brown picture of you on his refrigerator. He thinks you're hot stuff. So Dr. Melba, a simple question. Should, should what happened to you, should that still be taught in schools? Well, you would teach it as an example of what not to do. And of course it should be taught in schools because for African Americans, it's a it's a it's a sense of pride. It's like this is who I am, and this is what I'm capable of. So, Dr. Melba, should should schools teach Black history, or is it the parents' job at home to teach children important parts Excuse of Black me, history? Is it the parents' job at home to home to teach white history? If you're not going to teach Black history, then please don't feed me that bullhorn. Uh, scenario that people feed children about white history. What? The white kids who are sitting in class should feel good about what they did, what their ancestors did, and I don't get to feel that way about mine. Dr. Melba says the integration at Central High was a success. The Little Rock School District was all white before 1957. And now, 67 years later, according to the Arkansas Department of Education website, out of 2,338 students, 51% are black. Do you know why it's a success? Because we showed what's possible and we took away the tether. Before they had an elephant tethered with a shoestring, they told us that we didn't count. They told us that we were stupid. They told us that we didn't matter. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders had this to say earlier this year, about an AP high school African-American course that hadn't gone through the state college board approval process. It wasn't going to count toward graduation at first, but after school state leaders reviewed the course, it will be offered for college credit to students. The biggest thing for us is making sure that we're enforcing state law. We can't be in violation or out of compliance with state law, and so that's something we're going to continue to make sure that we do. Obviously, we want students across our state to learn the history, not just of Arkansas, but of our country. That's important, the good, the bad, the ugly. What we don't want to see happen is at any point for one student to be taught to hate another student for any reason. And so we want to make sure uh, certainly that courses are offered at the same time that we're not violating state law and also that we're building our students up and not ever tearing them down and teaching them to hate one another. See, the thing is, when you don't accept lessons that come into your life, then you have to relearn them. So it's obvious to me that she needs to relearn. That's okay. We're going to give her time to do that. Okay. But in the meantime, surprise, surprise, surprise. I'm going to say this one more time. Seeing equal is being equal. She needs to start looking at the ways in which she's not equal and the ways in which she's doling out inequality because it always comes back to rest in your own life. She tells us anyone making decisions on what children can learn needs years of education, training, and research in the mental health field.